see that after brain injury, what's loose becomes looser very often. Not, 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 not 100% of the time, but when uh, a person re uh, sustains a brain, a serious brain, brain injury, that, uh, and that person was sort of impulsive and grandiose and gregarious and flirtatious and blah, 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 those characteristics of personality are often magnified following a brain injury. Now, that's not to say that occasionally a person might be tamed somewhat and, and, and uh, calmed down somewhat by his or her brain injury. That has happened and that th they become uh, um, apathetic, they don't initiate, and they're very abulic uh, subsequent to brain injury. But by and large, it's usually the other way around. And I, I, uh, I tell family members that. And uh, they, uh, they, they, sometimes, they sometimes unknowingly um, will reward that gregarious and inappropriate behavior because they're so happy that the person has resumed their normal sort of normal personality and they're they're saying oh he's back he's he's there he is dad is dad again and 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 they're so pleased and then they get him home and they see that magnified that that, that over overly gregarious and overly impulsive and overly flirtatious and all the, the different things that we've described today and the behaviors that we see, overly aggressive, substance abuse, and they say, my God, this is not him. This is much worse than he's ever been. And so there is that, that pre-personality, pre pre-injury personality. Intelligence and learning style are important to remember. And we um, do that uh, you know, because we want to enhance their learning, we don't want to uh, um, leave, you know, lose out on opportunities for teaching. Um, can you hear me now, guys?